everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Ellie and I talk a lot about grad school and PhDs. And in this week's video, I want to share some of my top tips for maintaining peak productivity at graduate school. I spent the last year picking up many, many different tips and tricks. And this is what I want to share with you guys uh, today, just in case it might be helpful. <laughs> So the first thing that I want to talk about is the concept of goal setting. Now, before everyone rolls their eyes at me and says, oh, well, like anyone could have said that, I just kind of want to stress how much this has helped me over the last year. I am the sort of person that gets super carried away and then has all of these massive dreams and goals and then struggles to complete them because it seems so out of reach. However, what I have learned in the last year at grad school is the importance of setting intentional, clear and manageable goals. Maybe my goal is to publish publish X number of papers, but just having that as your goal on its own is not going to help you get there in my experience. Instead, what I found is by having these overarching goals, I started to be able to break them down into stages, having a clear time frame in which I want them to be established. I try to not think past the end of the week because I feel like once you get into the month, year, time span, it's so easy to just put it off and not meet your goal. Be really specific with them. So instead of just saying, read papers about X topic this week. How many papers am I going to read? Am I going to read one a day? Am I going to read five a day? Am I going to read five in the week? And then how do you split that up so that they are manageable and I don't get disappointed when I don't reach them? Another thing that I have found really helpful is the importance of admin time. When you're under the pressure of like having to spend a lot of your day in the lab and generating results and all of this, it can be really easy to let your life admin slip away. And this was a harsh lesson that I learned by letting my life admin get on top of me. And what I've recently started doing that I wanted to share is setting aside half an hour every other day to get this life admin done. And that time is now blocked out. That is gone. That is no one's time now. If someone says to me, oh, are you free at that time for me? No, I'm not free at that time for a meeting. I am not free at that time to do my experiment. That is factored out protected time for my life admin. This can be sending out forms, picking up your prescription from the doctors, all these little lab life admin things that can sort of run away from you if you're spending all your time in the lab because a lot of places will close, blah, 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 blah. Setting out the life admin time has been a game changer for me. Okay, so now let's talk about the other harsh productivity lesson I learned in the last year that I want to share um, is multitask in moderation. I do agree that multitasking does help you get more done in your day. However, However, with the caveat, I fell into the trap of maybe trying to do like two or three big experiments in a day or like big things in a day on top of all of my classes and stuff. I found that it just like, it just wasn't sustainable. Instead, what I would say is multitask in moderation. So set yourself like one big key task that you had to do that day, whether that is completing an experiment, analyzing some data, like one big task. And then in between that task, um, you can take those mini vacations and then also take slightly longer mini vacations to do other work, such as something a little bit less important like those filler tasks or if you're doing one big experiment in a day maybe there's an incubation step that you could fill with a filler task um, and so that means I'm still being able to multitask and get stuff done but it means that I'm able to stay focused on that one task and not get mixed up between my experiments or anything so I would definitely say multitask in moderation. So that brings us to the end of this week's video. I hope that you found some of these tips helpful. They're just some of the things that I've implemented over the last year that have really helped boost my productivity. We've got goal settings. We've got taking regular, regular breaks um, so that you don't burn out. We have got factoring in time for your administration time and multitasking in moderation. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to my channel. We talk lots about productivity, PhDs, grad school life and tips on here. So it'd be great to have you join the community and I will see you guys all next week for another video. Bye.